Okay, so, so this is Leia. Leia is playing with her computer today. So this is me playing with my computer. It's kind of a cool setup. I can see myself. It's like talking to the mirror, except it plays backwards. So like if I put my hand over here, you know, then it's actually over here. So it's a little bit funky. Okay, so this is me practicing with the video camera because I don't have a whole lot of experience. Experience with the video camera yet, but I have some other types of experience that would play well into personal broadcasting, and I've had a um, friend suggest it, so I got this little ball rolling in my head. So this is me. It's my hair kind of fluffy, improving. <coughs> in Patrick and Libby's kitchen at the hideaway in Three Rivers, California. And, um, yeah, so this is my first take with, like, just me and the camera. I've done a little videoing with the ocean and the girls and describing them and what was going on around. But this is just me, you know. So a minute ago, I, um, I recorded myself singing with headphones on, you know, I had the headphones, Tori Amos, Strange Little Girls, a couple of um, songs from Strange Little Girls, like me, okay, and um, so my train of thought um, went away. But I'm still here recording. I'm sure that would happen. I don't know if I could do live broadcasts because, you know, sometimes I say the wrong thing. And I might get canned from whoever's paying me. But, you know, it's okay. I've been canned many times. It's not like, you know, my self-esteem weighs on what people who pay think. Because if they're paying you to do it, shitty work. They don't want to do it themselves. <laughs> or maybe they just don't have time. I mean, working for friends is different. You make less. You make a lot less, usually. But you get, like, all these other perks that make it worth it. You know, they feed you, usually, and you sometimes get to go places. You get other gifts, quality of lifestyle type gifts that show up. And anyway, good stuff can happen when you work for your friends and not for jerks. <laughs> I don't work for jerks anymore. I have worked for many people who are not in tune with their highest vibration. <laughs> I just don't do it anymore. Sometimes I'm poor. But I'm never hungry. I always have food. And, um, I got lots of love in my life. I got a sweet boyfriend who is. I get to see in a month. Who do I say about him? Who is? Why did I brain fart there? You see, like, my mind does that. I'm talking, and then all of a sudden, blank. It happens because, um, okay, I've been through therapy about this, so we'll talk about what the therapist describes, okay? The therapist says that when you go through abuse as a child, you know, or traumatic situations like war um, or other things like that. So, so when you go through things like that, your mind learns to deal with it by fragmenting. So the part of you that is um, being damaged separates itself from the rest of you so that it can so that you can still function because you would not be able to function a lot of times. I mean, you would just freeze and everything's so wrong, you know, and so you couldn't do anything, but you still got to get up and go to school and you still got to eat breakfast and um, 
you know, you still got to go ride your bike and stuff. So you fragment, you disconnect your um, conscious waking being that's doing things um, for, so that you forget momentarily. It's a survival mechanism. It's a mechanism your body does all on its own um, to protect you, to protect me from my own painful experiences and memories. But I, I, I don't feel I need that protection anymore because I've reached a level of understanding regarding the pain and abuse and trauma that I've experienced. And that understanding is that I learned and grew in ways I maybe could have never if not going through this. It's like the manure, you know, that makes the flowers pretty. And so my mind does this little automatic thing, but I'm retraining it because contrary to popular belief, um, the brain can renew itself and repair itself and um, heal like a cut on your finger closes the brain that once couldn't manage any stress and the overload of any kind of trigger would send it into panic attacks and pain and um, residual pain throughout the body and neck, you know, especially and shoulders, the weight, you know, any kind of stress. And, and if anyone wronged, you know, a soul like that, then that soul feels that it, it must defend itself and, 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 and can even see imagined wrongs you know, and, and react to those. I know that's um, how this soul was. And um, almost created a lot of my own trauma and drama and um, maybe even attracted some of the abuse because that's what I was used to. And so I can really forgive in the true sense because I can be grateful for what I learned through the experience how they shaped me and how I can use that to help others like so many have helped me okay so our rambling has brought us about to full around 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 full full sir good on left